Hello Complo fans, Chitaro speaking, this is uh, the review of of SD Gundam Sengoku and Brave Battle Warriors number 6, Sun Quan or Sunken Gundam, from the SD Sengoku and Three King Brave Battle Warriors series that's currently or is done nowadays. Um, this is the he is being played quote by GP, the GP03 stamen, the mobile suit, and you'll see the things that in his likeness. You'll see the things in a bit. But first, let's just go over the character. As what you see here is what he is what he looks like without any of his stickers applied, and that's because I'm gonna be mo I'm gonna be um, doing some things with him, which you'll see in a later video. So here he is. You have um, plastic colors are white. His gun metal, um, white, uh, white gun metal, and this uh, cheapo, not cheapo, like gold, and then clear blue. You had a pretty big section of the skate is clear blue, which you'll see all or mostly in the armor, along with um, some silver, which you'll see in a bit. So this is the Sun Sunken or Sun Quan Gundam. Um, unlike some um, SD Gundams, the face, the back of the eyes, and the chin is molded into the front piece. It's not a separate red piece, so you're going to have to use a sticker or paint that, unfortunately. See these two big holes? I think that's for um, if you want to attach an arm, some other armor, so you have a big hole in the head for other armor. So I'm just going to go over articulation. It goes up and down, uh, side to side. Rotates 360. Arms go forward. Let's see if we can do forward, backward. You can push it in a little bit, or you can push it out, or pull it out. And then you have rotation 360. You can go up about that far, and the arms go up that far. Um, arms go forward and back, and as you saw, they go out. And the hands, you get two hands a closed fist with a gap in the back and an open hand, pretty nice I guess details, but with a gap in the back, so it's going to take some epoxy in there. Now, um, you also get some gaps in the backs of the arms, or like in the elbows, so again some epoxy will we'll fix that. Then, uh, so the chest, everything's right there. Then you have the, um, the front skirt slash inner skirts. There you go. And you see kind of the details, kind of if you look at the GPO3S or stamen, you see the details. And if you use some paint, you can. You have two holes, which you'll see the function later in the back. In fact, you have a slot and two holes, along with a, a couple pegs in the, sh in the shoulders. The legs, you get some longer legs than I'm used to seeing, honestly. And they do look kind of like the SD gun. Um, not SD Gundams, the, the Stamen's Gundams, with the rounded. Um, knees. Uh, articulation goes forward and back, out, not that far, and that, and it can rotate up here, but it's kind of hard to get to. And then you have the foot, which just came off, which is a pretty big foot, honestly. And um, it can rotate and wiggle up, um, up, down, and again rotate. So pretty cool, pretty cool. But of course, you don't get an SD Gundam for the suit. You get it for his pile of armor. And when when this guy gets armored, he like bird like his size really grows. So I'm, I think I'm gonna go ahead and start from the bottom. You have these huge side skirts, kind of like the Stamen's classic side skirts. You can see really nicely detailed in all clear blue. You can see him back there, and they do give you some stickers, I, I believe, to fix them up a little bit. You just put into the hole. Next is the arm. Again, the fake gold, and you just slide that over. And then the shoulders. Unfortunately, in you can't like. Um, I've seen a couple of Gogans where you can just like. Um, slide the armor on. This one, without some modding, you have to separate the armor, put it in, and clip it. And you get, um, 
and you get I, I'm I'm leaving a little a little bit um off so I can take it off later. You get a little tab there and that. Then you get this huge um, clear blue piece again clear blue with a little uh, detail of a of a uh, tiger in there. So that was nice. Small details. And you just tab that into that other shoulder armor. So you get this huge thing on one side, or at least for the for now. Then you come and and you get give him the little the classic GPO three backpack thrusters. Uh, back there, and you get a ch a clear blue chest piece, which we'll put on. Which you know everything it, with some patience and details and some p detail paint can look really good. And then we get the helmet, which I think is the sweetest part. Um, and let's see. Our, there you go. And so here's armored on this side versus unarmored you can see quite a difference in size so let's just put actually I'm just gonna leave everything off nothing is really hindered by by the armor except maybe the arms stretching out because these don't really move and they and the shoulder arms don't really rotate and the skirts don't really do anything to articulation oh I forgot to mention you have these big gaps in the back of the back of the knees but yeah nothing really suffers from it and maybe, I mean, his 360, you might have to work a little bit with that huge collar. So, one of the, a couple of the, uh, okay, let's put this back here. Here's the rest of the armor. So, so you do get stuff for both sides. They're not cheap. They're not cheap. And you get two swords, because this is the Shin, uh, Shin Sunken, while with the Sunken Gundam, you get one sword. The first sword is this um, double-bladed sword or axe. Like, I, it's a sword, I guess. Double-bladed. You can see some detail. It it matches up really well. And it you can open it up, pop it open. It becomes this even longer sword. You know, high comparison with it is practically on par. And this will be used later for one of his main features. So I'm just going to put that there. And you get another sword, which is equally as big, which is the family sword for uh, the Sun Clan. And they're about the same size. And, you know, honestly, there's not that much of a difference between the two. You know, let's see if I can get a nice shot. Not much of a difference. So, as I said, this kit has two features. One feature is this faceplate. As you can see, the faceplate is kind of loose, which is unfortunate. But if you pop it down and then pop this up, he has this like celestial shield aura thing where he can cover all his loved ones or something like that. But this feature is actually one of the reasons I got him, which I'll explain in another video. And the other feature is uh, feature is another thing, which is this. The knockout technique, something like that, I think it's called. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that together. So you have to take off a few parts. So you take off uh, the big um, shoulder armors and the back thrusters and the clear blue from the helmet, which is kind of scary, honestly. Because if you crack that, you know it's gonna be hard putting it together and not leaving any uh, signs of it. So you have all these parts, you take his fold up, his sword and fold it up, you see these little tabs, you just get his, um, his little thrusters and put them on either side, like this. Then you take this, one of his side armors, and you peg it in, peg right there and a hole right there kind of hard to place, hopefully I'll get this right there we go, and you get this long thing and then you get his um, his helmet and you tab it in, I'm not sure where it goes there we go, no, 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 nope, I don't oh, think that's it I think it goes on the other one, so then you take this and you take see the little gold peg that goes into one of these or into the bottom one, the bottom big one. So you just take that there, and it and it clicks in. So pretty nice. So this side is one side, this the other. 
we'll put this together quickly you know for sake of your important time guys so yeah and then as I said you take this crest and put it over here on the front making it like a tip you see that here I'll give you a front view and then you do the same thing and here you see a peg and hole system which are inverse from the the other and you just tab that in there we go close it up and close this up also and you get this and there are two ways to do this one is I guess in the show he sh like launches it or like covers it so like he uses his, his aura to shoot this out of his enemies blowing them up what I like to do is to put it into his hand sideways just because that's how it fits into the hand and then he has this huge like blue frame sword which is like you know my sword of aura and power you can just close his thingy Whoosh. All right. so yeah that has been the review for um, SD Sengokuden number 6 Sun Quan or Sun Kin Gundam again this is completely out of the box no stickers um, seams are there there are a couple of seams that I'm going to be taking care of later on when I explain my projects. So thanks a lot guys, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.